What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. The Earthmaster here on this Friday, end of the work week, February 18th, 2022, about 12.42 p.m. California time. Another dry, boring day of weather out here in California. The latest quake on the globe shows that uh, 2.8 earthquake around the Puerto Rico area. These guys seen a little swarm of movement over the last 24 hours kicking up there. Go ahead and check out that activity here on the latest map here from the USGS. Showing the earthquake in general right around the Puerto Rico area. Kicking up once again. These earthquakes up here I believe are from last night. These deeper ones up around the Puerto Rico Trench and the Mona Trough area. But we are seeing a little increase in activity out here just to the southwest. With that latest quake, a 2.8 there at 9.2 kilometers. Looking around the rest of the Caribbean, it uh, looks pretty quiet. Uh, we did have one earthquake out here off the coast of El Salvador from last night. Haven't seen any further movement as far as large scale activity goes. Remember, this only shows the uh, two point uh, shows all magnitudes on the states and the U.S. territories. Uh, 4.0 for the international community. So not a whole lot going on there. There's that glove on the hand again. Not for sure what's up with that. Anyway, yeah, so things kind of quieting down here along the Middle America Trench, it seems. Also down here through the South America area, things kind of on the uh, eerily quiet side for the moment. Uh, looking at movement over here along the Kerbedeck Trench and southward, New Zealand seeing a little bit of uptick in earthquake activity with a 4.4 earthquake. Uh, looks like it's south of the Hikarangi subduction zone here yeah, around the Amberley, New Zealand area. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. 10.7 kilometers for that. Did see some further activity up here to the north as well with a pretty deep 5.5 in the Kermadeg Trench region. Down dip into that area. Uh, 323.5 kilometers for that earthquake. Uh, some further activity well south here as well. Kind of looking at a push of movement with this plate area. The um, Pacific plate kind of pushing against to the west around the Australia area. 4.9 down south here at 10 kilometers. Uh, looking up north around the Indonesia area and in Papua New Guinea, some activity. Uh, majority of it's pretty light, some lower grade fours uh, looking pretty deep into that region. And a little bit of activity out around the mid Indian Ridge with a 5.1 at uh, 10 kilometers into this area. Right around that, uh, looks like that area right here along these uh, plate boundaries. Uh, South America, or uh, Africa I should say, Tanzania did see a little 4.6, uh, looks like uh, earlier today in this region. The rest of the African region uh, area looks pretty quiet. Middle America, or the uh, Mediterranean Sea, see if I can spit this out. Haven't had too much caffeine today, been out uh, kind of working on the garden though. 4.4 in the Greece area. And the Middle East, all quiet out there for now in terms of earthquake activity. Looking over here around the states, we are seeing uh, some activity ramp up out here along the west coast. Our normal, typical zones, if you can call it that. Geyser activity, the uh, south of the Clear Lake and also Tonopah region around Mina, Ridgecrest area. All seeing some heightened earthquake activity today in the microquake department. Quite a few quakes here outside of the Cobb Mountain region with the uh, hydrothermal operations here in the power plant in that region. Uh, a little bit of activity up here off the coast range, in the coast range, I should say, near Alder Springs. A little 1.7. Pretty shallow earthquake there for that region, just off the Bartlett Springs fault system. Bay Area looks pretty quiet today. Only a little lone earthquake out here on the, it looks like the Calaveras fault system here. Hayward Fault looks pretty quiet. 1.2 on that. Uh, Calaveras system there at 10.5 kilometers and some activity down throughout the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault. Doesn't look too uh, too much in the way of activity. Ridgecrest area and the Garlock Fault structure all showing a little bit of movement today um, with the 1.0 being the latest earthquake there on the map. Some activity off the coast here of the, uh, what is that, Santa Lucia Bank region? Well off the coast of the, uh, wow, 2.4, 17.3 kilometers. It's pretty deep earthquake here for this region. Kind of a larger earthquake as well. Not showing any specific uh, 
uh, fault systems out here, but I'm sure there is some. We'll have to keep an eye on that region out there off the coast. Uh, Southern Cal, specifically down here in the Pacific side of the plate, looks pretty uh, active today along the San Jacinto Fault Zone, specifically around the main uh, segment here, just to the west of the San Jacinto Mountains, and uh, getting a swarm of activity once again down here south of the border, south of the, uh, well, right off the Imperial Fault System, it looks like, a little plate boundary area. Fault system, uh, what do we got here? A couple twos and some threes showing up there in that region. Got to watch the areas to the north here around the Brawley Seismic Zone and the southern part of the Sandres Fault. It's been pretty quiet here in terms of any type of swarming in recent times, so uh, that could always change in a blink of an eye. Uh, let's see what else we got. Intermountain West region, a little bit of activity throughout Utah and the Montana region up north here around Helena. Yellowstone looks pretty quiet. We'll go ahead and check out the Yellowstone map here. Let's see if we got any activity kicking up here. And it doesn't look like a whole lot of movement. Uh, there is some activity, it looks like, over here. It's showing up on a lot of these stations, but it doesn't look like... Uh, let's see if I can get this to load up here. A little bit of small earthquake activity here. Kind of, kind of in a... Uh, you guys see that? Kind of like ba-bam, 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 ba-bam. Two little back-to-back -back earthquakes in all of these, so I'm not for sure what it is. It is showing up um, on this station, Maple Creek, and also lightly on the Purple Mountain region. So I'm not 100% not certain what that is. Some type of earthquake activity, but uh, USGS not really showing too much in the, in the uh, way of activity here at uh, Yellowstone National Park. Around the Idaho area, yes, there is some, but that's very light. Uh, that's actually into Montana, the Idaho Sawtooth Fault area. Look at that, that's very quiet. Um, not seeing anything kick up here on this Pacific Vault system today. Into the uh, Pacific Northwest, a little bit of Mount, uh, a little bit of activity right around the Mount Rainier region. Mount St. Helens somewhat quiet today. One little lone earthquake here off the, uh, to the southwest, a little small microquake, but Mount Rainier getting in on a little bit of activity, just about 10 miles or so from the summit. Some small microquakes, and uh, looks like one little quake out here outside of Mount Hood as well. 6.5 for a little 0.2 in that uh, earthquake. Let's see, what do we got? New Madrid zone. Well, let's check out the Oklahoma area first. Seeing uh, the Wakita. Trend and gas field out here. Okay, the trend gas field uh, kicking up here. Some earthquakes, also some um, movement. Further to the southwest, quite a few twos kicking up there in Oklahoma over the last 24 hours, stretching down through the Oklahoma, or the uh, Texas area as well. New Madrid zone here around the Tennessee and Missouri area, showing some movement with a 2.4 and a 1.7 over the last seven days or so. Been pretty spotty. Only a handful of small quakes within this region. Uh, over the last week. Let's see what else we got. Trimmer, ma Trimmer map was pretty quiet from the uh, last night's movement or lack of movement I should say along the Cascadia. Not seeing anything really uh, over there yesterday. We'll see how that pops up tonight uh, with the activity kicking up there around the volcanoes in the Pacific Northwest. We could see a little bit of a trimmer kick up. We'll see though. Solar weather from the solarham.net website shows green across the board for the most part here in terms of flare threat looks like we are going to have a, a little bit of storming activity a g1 potential storm on february 20th uh, looks like higher latitudes at 65 percent chance and a uh, 30 percent chance for the mid latitude folks there have seen the uh the storming and the aurora things right now green across the board as mentioned looking at the specific sunspots well, there's uh, there's some, not a whole lot, some spotty ones. Looks like little bitty, just very small um, sunspots across the Earth side of the sun right now. 2948, probably about the only credible threat that we're looking at uh, in terms of producing any type of flaring. Looking at the Earthquakes Canada map here, shows uh, some movement. I'll go ahead and kick this up here. I was looking at this earlier. This guy's a little on the slow side once again. Let's see if these guys are working. That's kind of odd. Maybe these guys having some issues up there. 
with their server. Okie dokie, that was a little on the odd side. Still can't get these guys to load, so we'll check them out a little bit later. Looking at the national data buoy areas out here across the oceans. Not a whole lot in event mode. Kind of like to watch this map just in case, uh, well, we, we don't hear of an earthquake, but maybe there was a tsunami trigger, so you never know. It can happen in uh, certain areas that uh, aren't uh, seismically monitored for the most part. All right, guys, um, going to uh, post this update video. Live stream did go down just a little bit ago. Uh, that is up currently right now. So coming over for some live chat on this Friday. And uh, we'll catch you guys a little bit later on this evening with the uh, complete update video with uh, Missy Mimi's. We'll jump in here and uh, we'll have that uh, update later this evening. Have a good day, folks. Stay safe out there. And uh, we will chat you guys uh, very soon. Peace out.